Ministry. Mr. Daniel Lopez, you just finished uh, the ceremony uh, about a few minutes ago yes. in the President's uh, Federated States of Micronesia President's yeah. Conference Room to become uh, an FSM citizen. Yes. Right? You've just renounced your Japanese citizenship and now uh, fully come out on your FSM citizenship. Uh, talk a little bit uh, about your feeling right now that, that that is done. Well, I feel I feel really great. I'm really happy that now I'm able to move freely uh, in the uh, in Pompeii. So, and uh, well, the reason why I chose Pompeii is because actually I am a Pompeian. I grew up here, even though I was born in Japan. I was raised here. I came when I was a little baby, and so attended elementary school, high school here. All my friends are here. All my family is here. Uh -huh. I went to Japan to get to know Japan and to study there, but in the end, I couldn't stay there. You know, to live, to work there. Maybe I could work, but I couldn't live because my home is here, and everybody say there's no place like home. Yeah. So I'm just really happy now that I can move all, move a lot, move forward uh, legally and able to do my uh, roles as a FSM citizen. Mm. So okay. to speak a little bit, uh, one of your one of your parents yes. is, is a Pompeian. Yes. Uh, explain a little bit on that part. Well, my my father is uh, Daniel Lopez, uh -huh. and uh, he's from uh, U. Yes, and my mother is Japanese. So and and that, Japanese. that on your father's side is the one that allows you to, to seek for yes. uh, every some citizenship. Yes, uh -huh. yes. But it was, uh, I, I couldn't uh, uh, decide on my last years because I was in Japan studying mm -hmm. and I was paying for my tuition so I wasn't able to, to, to pay for my ticket to come back mm -hmm. and you know decide who I wanted to be, which citizen. So it was really hard, because I was studying, working to pay my university tuitions. But my goal was to come back here and contribute, to try to contribute to our island, Pompeii. So now I'm running a small business called Naturamen. Mm -hmm. I think you've heard. We serve fresh noodles. And uh, I want to expand, and I'm trying to also promote tourism because we have a very beautiful place here. And by doing that, we have to keep our place clean so that people want to come and enjoy our nature. So I would like to keep it this way. How long has it taken you from the first time you've initiated your request to be an FSM citizen to this day when you actually received your FSM passport through the uh, process? I think altogether it took uh, three years, three, four years. Yeah, since it started, it was, it was hard. It was really hard because I came back home, and they telling me, you have to pay one thousand. You know, if you want to work, you have to. If you, you know, if you, if you want to change your status, you have to pay one thousand dollars. And I'm like, this is hard. So it was really hard, you know. So now you'll be, you'll be with your citizenship. You will do away with some of the hurdles that you have yeah. to go through. I mean, uh, it was a really uh, hard situation because it's my home and they're telling me, you're take me away, I don't have the privilege to stay here and do the things I want to do here. Okay. So uh, it was kind of hard. I was trying to do many things, but it was kind of hard. It wasn't entirely 100%. It was like just 80%. You so know? you look forward to a different, a fresh new start? Yeah, this or? is a really fresh new start. Okay. Uh, I can talk to people, I can expand what I want to do, you know, so. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah.